Are you one of those people who have a lot of goals, a lot of interests, a lot of things that you want to accomplish, but sometimes you feel like you don't have enough time or you're not organized or you get overwhelmed by those goals, by your dreams? If that's you, continue watching. Hey everyone, I'm your fave Nurse B. Thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I have plenty of videos for aspiring nurses, nursing students, and new nursings. And um, just pretty much for anybody out there who wants to level up in life, I got a video for you out there somewhere. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can be more productive. And I'm actually partnering up with Clever Fox Planner. I've already done a video with them before, so go check it out. Um, but they sent me their 13 week planner now it's like okay 13 weeks yes for 13 weeks you're going to be using this planner i already started using it i'm going to show you all how you can accomplish a lot of goals and a lot of things that you want to accomplish within 13 weeks so we all know or some of us may know that it takes about 21 days to build a habit and to be honest if if you look at life the only way that you're able to get what you want in life is by doing something every day to accomplish it You want to know your future look at what you're doing every day that's a very very clear depiction of how life is going to be for you if you say i want to lose weight and every day you're not eating the right foods you're not working out you're not drinking enough fluids you're not doing anything that's going to help you to get there then how are you going to get to losing weight it's based off what you do every day so that's why i really like this 13 week planners because if you're anything like me i always have things that i want to accomplish and i don't necessarily like say hey this is when i'm going to have it done by and like hold myself accountable for it i kind of let stuff kind of it might not seem like it <laughs> but sometimes i can let things kind of like go like oh yeah i'm gonna do it i'm gonna get to it i'm gonna work on it. yeah 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 but this is 13 weeks you got 13 weeks to fill this planner out to accomplish your goals to get things done so let me show you all how it works so first what you want to do is pick out one to five goals or that you want to accomplish i would say maybe three to five that you want to work on so let's just say in general i'm going to show you tell you all one of my goals so one of my goals is to increase my brand recognition increase my presence through my youtube channel through my facebook group and through um, my instagram so basically just to be a bigger brand um, to get more followers and all that jazz so I was like, okay, that's one of my big goals. And I want to do, I want I have a specific amount of subscribers I want to get, a specific amount of Instagram followers I want to get by the end of these 13 weeks. So, so you want to use a smart technique. So of course that's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. I think the most important thing is time bound and specific. Those two things are very, very important. So let's just go through it so with me wanting to increase my brand um recognition so that's specific throughout all of my social media so on youtube like i said youtube instagram and my facebook group so that's specific measurable meaning that yes i have a i can definitely tell okay i started off with this many subscribers and then by this time i'm gonna have these many subscribers okay so i can measure it I, there's like concrete things that i can look at okay it is achievable to meet my um, goal of subscribers by the end of these 13 weeks and then relevant yeah it's relevant because i'm already a youtuber so it's relevant to what i have going on and then time bound now of course it's time bound because it's a 13 week planner that's the next thing once you have your specific goal you want to look at how am i going to accomplish these goals and then you break it down now what i like about this planner is because they have you like look at different areas of your life that you want to focus on so health and fitness finance business personal development family and friends fun recreation relationship and spiritual which i think these are all super important because these are certain parts of your life areas of your life and you can it just helped me to really think about what do i want what do i want to bring into my life what type of habits do i want to have where do I see myself, you know, going into 2020 if you're watching this at the end of the year, which is, I think this is a perfect time to start getting those plans in order before the new year. I know a lot of people like to do things like right at the new year, but like starting to get ahead, like ahead of the new year, once the new year comes, it's like that momentum is there. You start to just get excited and you're already doing it. So it's just like you just keep doing it and you keep building up on it and you hold yourself accountable because it's in writing. When you write things down, 
it makes a huge difference. Once you first define your goal, make sure it's specific, right? Define your goal, then you, you circle or highlight which area of your life this is gonna impact, what focus of your life this is in. Then after that, you say, okay, so the way it's written in the Clever Fox Planner is, if I achieve this goal, my life will improve in the following ways. The way I see it as when I achieve this goal, Da, 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 da. my life will improve and when I started writing down um, at first I wrote it down as if this was gonna happen right but then I was thinking about scripting which I have a video coming out on my other channel about scripting that's another video another channel but I was like you know what instead of saying if let me write it as if it's already happening so I'm gonna actually read it to you all what I wrote and y'all look at that go honey so this is my older clever fox planner and this is the newer one and look it has texture to it like oh my god and look at the the it's like a rose gold i love it like they have definitely um leveled up i love it so okay so my brand awareness is growing people know who i am my income is growing. I'm collaborating with some amazing people and brands. Wow. So I wrote it as if it's already here, right? Don't write it as if I'm going to do this. Kind of saying if and I'll try. Using those words um, basically puts you in a position of already, already not even doing it. Because you're not even putting the power out there for yourself to be like, this is happening this is done so i i suggest you write it as if it already happened that's just my suggestion and then there are specific milestones that you want to make this has been the hardest part for me and i'm going to just sit down even more and really really hone in on my milestones that i want to create um, but one of my milestones was this brand deal that i have coming up with you all um you all and I'm I'm like I really wanted to go through we're still in like the negotiation process of it but I have a big brand deal that I want to do and I wrote down like when I'm gonna have the video done and when I'm gonna submit the video which I already did I'm just waiting on it y'all I'm speaking it out there it's coming so that was one of my biggest milestones that I wanted to accomplish doing this also started to seem like show me like where my like kind of where I need to strengthen my goal setting abilities and for me it's definitely putting a time stamp on something and sticking to it i think that's the most important thing because all this time can go by and you didn't do it so that's why i like that this is 13 weeks and i have a specific date when it's going to be done but the 13 weeks is i believe february 13th actually and i'm like okay I'm, i gotta get this done by then so let me just kind of recalibrate everything and see where i kind of had pitfalls for the week and how i can improve for the next week so that leads me to the that leads me to one of the next pages in this planner it gives you a weekly spread of how your whole week was what made you happy that week what did you learn that week different daily habits and skills you did that week like what did what happened that whole week and it helps you to reflect on what's going on that week or what happened that week and then there's daily let me go to a blank sheet and then there are daily spreads as well and each day what i like is that they have it based off the time um because you know sometimes i think this is really good because time can just get away from you especially with me being at home with my two kids working from home time can get away from me if you allow it to but i am i am in control of my time and my money and my energy um but i love that you can write in specific things you have to do that day and block your time out there's activities for the day your work list and then there's this little um grid down here this dotted grid where you can kind of doodle or write different things or put stickers or affirmations and there's even a part where morning review which i love which is your affirmations what you're grateful for and what you're excited about i love that because i think sometimes you get so hung up on your goals and what you want to do that you kind of don't pay attention to your present life and you can become overwhelmed even depressed if you don't start hitting those deadlines hitting those marks but when you start to look at your life and realize that everything in your life is here because of things you've done in the past the work and the effort that you put in in the past it helps you to be like okay i can do this i've done it before i've manifested or i've created or i've done the work every single day to get to where i'm at right now like i can do it again i can keep doing it let me stay focused and then also gratitude is so 
important because I know a lot of us want to you know get more education we want to make more money we want more material things we want to bring um, a partner into our lives whatever we want to have a nice looking body whatever the case may be but it's just like having that gratitude is so important it puts you in a, a beautiful space to be grateful for what you have right now you have to focus on the now while you're still working on the future okay it's so important you all so I love that morning review because you can just sit down in the morning give yourself 10 15 minutes even five minutes to just write this little part out and to set your intentions for the day and to be more productive so so that's that um and then my favorite part y'all my favorite part because your girl loves a nice collage is i created this part in the back because one of my goals is of course to become more in tune with my physical body you already know that i follow a plant-based diet but I still want to work on um, doing more physical things so I have created this um, little collage for myself and I actually have a picture of myself when I was smaller before I had kids and I just went on Pinterest and I just found all this cool stuff and put it in a Microsoft uh, Word document and just sized it so it could fit the page and then I have two things over here that I'm going to give myself once I get to the end of 13 weeks um but yeah I got this and it's just so fun like to look at the back of it and be like okay this is why I'm doing this and what is it called y'all what is it called oh vision board like a little vision board for you to look at or some type of visual that looks cute and I added in like scrapbook paper and stuff something just to help you to feel like okay I got this like I'm gonna accomplish this so that's that and then I have another spot back here for our bills that I created and I, I created this little grid showing all of our bills all of our expenses and then for the next three months just because I can use this to pay our bills as well um, so I don't have to have more than one planner because I, I handle all the money in the home and then I broke it down to each month so got that as well um, I'm gonna create one for nursing students too a vision board for you all so stay tuned for that video but I think that's super important to have some type of visual so you can see okay this is why I'm doing it this is where I see myself this is where I'm gonna be in the next 13 weeks and you can even go a little bit further than 13 weeks but you want to create some type of vision for yourself so you can be excited about it oh like cuz I love looking at that whole page I'm like oh this is so cute and girly and like this is what I'm doing This is what I'm doing for myself right so I like this planner I really enjoy it so thank you to Clever Fox for sending it out to me we are going to be doing a giveaway of course I'll put all the information in the description box and you all can get a discount on this planner as well if you use my link in the description box I do get a little kickback from you all using it but honestly I used this planner that I have like I legit used this planner like I was all up in it so I really enjoyed this. I've been getting more consistent with me being at home. I have to have so much more discipline. I do. So I'm super glad that I got this. I'm using it because I have to create the world that I want for myself. Like I can't just sit here and say I want it and keep letting months and years and time go by and I don't do it. So this is for me too, y'all. <laughs> so yeah, I'm working on it. I'm doing I'm gonna probably do an update after these 13 weeks and show you all what I accomplished. I don't want to say you all of my goals, but I have them written down so you'll be able to see them in the next 13 weeks. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So just to recap, you want to make sure you do one to five goals, and then you're gonna have an area at the front where you put your specific goal, and then you put where in your life it's gonna uh focus on when you do this goal and then what are you going to have once you accomplish this goal write it out as if it already happened as if it's happening right now as if it's the end it's the end of those 13 weeks and you've already accomplished your goal what does your life look like what does it feel like what do you have in your life what have you removed from your life what is going on after those 13 weeks and then there's an area for you all to focus on your milestones those things that you're going to do whether it be two weeks from now a month from now what you're going to be doing um 10 weeks from now what things what are those highlighted things that you really want to make sure you are able to accomplish within the next 13 weeks and then there's an area for you to just sit down and kind of brainstorm how are you going to accomplish these things what are you going to implement into your daily schedule to get 
these things happening in your life. And of course, you want to look at your specific day, whether it be the night before you sit down and you kind of, you know, um, schedule out your day for the next day, or you do it early in the morning. You sit down and you say, okay, what do we got going on today? What's my main focus today? Da 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 da. Focusing on that. And then there's a way for you to look back over the entire week and say, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? Or not even looking at it like that, but what can I work on or what am I super excited that I was able to accomplish? Keep it positive because it's just all about personal growth, okay? And I think that, I know people do a lot of stuff over their phones and everything, but I think having something physical is super important. The power of the pen, the power of you writing it and seeing it is so important. And then lastly, of course, using these back, uh, dot journals to write out certain things and to put certain things down that will help you along your journey some type of vision board something in the back that's going to help you charts whatever the case may be that's going to help you if say you wanted to say you're a youtuber like me and you wanted to get to a certain amount of subscribers you can have like a little subscriber count chart i have this grid that i created for my subscriber count which i need to actually fill it out some more because i have i reached some milestones but i was i just highlight or color um because my main goal is of course to get to 100k so like comment and subscribe and it's just like i just kind of go over it with a different marker color each time i get to a certain amount of subscribers and then i put the date that i got there okay so i wrote out this little wish list for myself and i put what i want to bring in for my channel and then I put in my monthly YouTube goals my uh, and then my long-term business goals that I have. And I made these little charts for it. So, the sky's the limit. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you use the link down below to get your discount. And also to help support the channel without no extra cost to you. I will also have a, uh, I'm going to put on my Amazon shop a little area for you all to show you some things that you can buy for your planners um, and your journals to help you to just make stuff a little bit cuter and fun when you're using these journals and let me know down below. I need you all to help me be accountable. So I'm telling you my goal. My goal is to get to 50K by February. I'm gonna put the date underneath here, but my goal is to get to 50K subscribers and I wanna also get to 10,000 Instagram followers or more, 50,000K subscribers or more by february of 2020 and so yeah that's my goal so help me be accountable i gotta keep pushing out more content promoting myself just being on top of it being the brandy that i know i can be for you all and for myself as well um put down below i want to know what's that one goal that you are going to accomplish going into 2020 what are you gonna start right now and even if you're watching this and it's not and it's past the new year you know what's that one goal that you really want to work on within the next 13 weeks um let me know in the comment section and hold yourself accountable come back put us put something in your phone to say go back to her video and then come back in 13 weeks and tell us if you did it or not i want to know hold yourself accountable today okay Okay, all right, I love you all. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram at your fave nurse be number one. And go ahead and go follow the Fave Nurse Bee Facebook group. There's a lot of support on that group. Um, and I really, really enjoy it. So go ahead. Let me know. All right, you all. Peace.